Hello, Phoebe Earth and Mr. Who reviews? Today, viewing the Flash, Rogues of War. Um, in this, uh, Red Death Seg gang are stealing more uh, components for their time machine, and they got a new member, uh, Minerva. That was a dumb member, there was a character in that uh, arrow, I think. That was uh, named that, and there's actually a new version that's a uh, female and deaf. So, yeah. And uh, well, Barry and Iris are in Paris. Uh, they just get a very right, nice uh, call about the heists that the uh, rogues did. And uh, after hearing all the information, Barry realizes that the rogues are going to try are, are trying to build a comic treadmill. And they only need one piece. Apparently, the New engine that the Department of Defense is uh, making or made. And I think that uh, the hero like the Flash can get convinced the Department of Defense to uh, give him the engine to protect him more. It's uh, enough uh, Colonel Ironing is connected, and yeah, they three or the Flash and him already have a good uh, relationship. If seen says one, you know what I mean. <laughs> so uh Baron Iris is going to see uh Hartley and he's the one that tells him about the turn defense engine and the very probably a team of criminals pull the heist. So there is a montage of Barry getting some of the rogues like uh hot stuff, chill blame, gold face. Yeah, go face there we go. Early with the uh does they gave the name of the mastermind of the police heist back in season seven. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, he's so, so uh I'm the black. Yeah, I guess they're I'd have troubles or they broke up. Hmm. And uh Chester and Iris are trying to find out where uh, the rogues are getting their tech. I had heard that some uh, fans are called Barry's uh, uh, criminal uh, gang, uh, the main team. Yeah, could, could be worse. Um, Iris is getting frustrated that she and Chester can't find any information and. With Yolanda, she's uh, does that avoid the uh, that Chester and uh, after talking to uh, Snow, yeah, I still can't remember the name. It it just seems like it's this is a hard time expressing her emotions and because they don't have the don't know how to work with family or something like that. But she does like get uh, Chester. She seems like a genius. Uh, Good kiss or not, but I don't know if that many people can care about the storyline. Um, back uh, to the Flash, and when uh, as he mentions the the plan and the uh, the engine, that's when the the villains get into each other's throats. When there's arguments, one of them to get the get the the engine or, or cut or something. They just say start arguing. When they just recognize one another or something like that. Yeah, but it's the same the plan from spin up to everyone going to the same place, and yeah, that's when uh, things just go really bad when the rogues realized, or the, the, yeah, the, the, the team just realized that Barry doesn't trust them. So they decided to go off to do things themselves. And uh, there's a, a decent scene where Barry and Iris are uh, talking about Iris, thinking that she won't be able to fill her dream once uh, baby Nora comes along. But Barry just reassures her that he's got to take care of her a lot, lot of stuff, so she can have time to do her things herself. And that's where, thanks for the talk, Barry's 
just realized that, uh, or just figured out that he has a choice to Rose more. Sorry, his team more, and he just goes to them, and after we just talk to him, that's when, like, Goldface realizes that, that Barry is the Flash. And the heist goes down uh, well at first. The hits a little bit of a snag when uh, Steel Blame reveals, spoiler, that he's actually working for the other team. Yeah, I thought it's coming. I know he said he, he was going to work with Barry because I was cross for you, but I kind of figured that the, the other Rogues team uh, probably made an offer to bring Ro or bring uh, Frost back. I think it is need to need to take the, these things through. I think it's kind of obvious so it's going to go this way and then there's a fight between Barry's team and the Red Death's team. And there's a, a date in that scene I think with the Pipe Piper and the Magenta or, yeah, just having a, a conversation with sign language. I didn't pause it since I can't really see subtitles that well right now, but I guess in, there's some Smackdown. And, uh, later on, uh, there's gonna be a North fight between Barry's team and uh, Red Death's team with Barry being in the flash suit. Uh, Red Death. The shows up in smoke and it's the bat emblem that's yeah glowing on Barry after a uh, like the B force as he takes uh, his B from 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 limited time and uh, yeah when everybody goes went back to Star Labs Barry just helps everybody information and. The the sound that he probably needs are help more than ever, and they say it'll help, but they're not gonna s stick around. And I do collect like the Edgar and Poe quote that uh, Goldface used in dropping the name uh, Red Death. Hmm, you're kind of good. Uh, with the Chester, that's the uh, like figured out that the tech. That the Red Death's robes been using as were manufactured in the uh, Wayne Industries or Wayne Wayne Tech or whatever the company's called, and yes, he called Luke Fox to confirm that. And uh, turns out that uh, Batwoman's been missing for a few weeks. Yep, if uh, there was a and if I got if a uh, if it's just a cliche that. I'm a bad person goes man missing. I think the main entries would be even richer, but hmm. And uh, in the end, uh, someone actually delivers the uh, engine of its demands or asks for Red Dead to bring the uh, fulfill her end of the bargain. And it's even said that she will when her mission is complete. And when uh, somebody mentions that how can uh, they trust her if uh, if you keep wearing a mask and not tell her who she is. And Red Hat does they take off the mask and says she is vengeance. And yeah, it's just a uh, just one wall where they get everybody thought it was. I think everybody knew who was a Thanks to some videos on YouTube and that, but yeah. You know. I think the deep episode, but I don't know why Barry kept saying that the speedster was a he. Maybe the armor just makes uh, um, um, the alternate uh, wine rollers uh, why do you for masculine or something, or maybe the voice of more like guys. Either way, it's, it's a little sexist. Hmm. And uh, like I said, some moments in the episode, even though uh, Joe Blaine's betrayal is kind of obvious, or just that, uh, just uh, yeah, it's obvious. Hmm. 
Uh, do you think uh, the banter between Barry Zebro's team was uh, pretty good? And uh, what's up? Awesome. I think the, the line that Reddit had before when uh, she's saying that once they find out, they'll scream. Was just better than saying, I am vengeance. They did say that because it said it in the Batman movie, wasn't it? Or didn't they? Ugh, oh well. Um, yeah, I do wonder if Red Dead actually kidnapped uh, Ryan at some point before as her uh, freak she was uh, more in tune with the, the, the universe that the, that's in now. Since, since Zoo Fox did say it was just missing for weeks. So. Oh. Um. Um. I kind of like got Hartley in this, and Barry just saying that the Hartley got to end, we had to give uh, the other members of the team a quarter million dollars. Because he said he didn't need the money. Mm. I just wonder how we got a double money just from a, from a club. I don't think a club that made a like a um so much money that you don't need it any eight now any other money. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, I do like the I kind of like the scene between uh hotness and the filler when they uh, realize. That they both like uh, nine inch nails, and I really hoped that they wouldn't dead do what they did in the Valentine's Day episode from season six between uh, Aminette and get Goldface. Ugh. I s still shudder when I think of that. Like I do it right now. Um. Uh, yeah, I think the good to the just go there. Where uh, Barry uh, uh, trusting the rogues and then uh, get betrayed by one of them. And he was just uh, panicking when he saw everybody dead fighting over the the engine or what, what, how, much, how much the cut to get. So, hmm. And, uh, hopefully, uh, next week episode is uh, good. And, um, just until next time, I see you guys. Later.